In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use SVGs in your Flutter app. This is what we are going to build today. And this is a secret which you have to guess for yourself what kind of SVG this represents. Might this be some kind of tree or some kind of bush? We have to see. For this, we are going to use the Flutter package, Flutter underscore SVG. Currently, it's the version 1.0.3. All you have to do is copy by clicking on this button here, then paste it into your pubspec.yaml file underneath your dependencies like this. Then we want to have some SVGs, for example, in our assets, or we can load SVGs from the internet. So I'm going to show you how to do both. So for using assets, you also have to define your assets in your pubspec.yaml file, which you can see under the Flutter. Here, assets, this is usually commented, so uncomment this and then use this. This means that you have to define under your root project a directory called assets. And in this assets, by using this forward slash, it means that everything should be registered by Flutter. In this case, it will also register the secret.svg file. Once you have written this, just run pub get. This is all we need for the setup. Then for our app, I just made a very simple app where we have a simple app bar and a body which uses the SVG library. You have to first import the library with this. Then you have to define the asset name. So in this case, you use the assets folder as we've created earlier. Under this assets folder, then you use a forward slash and then secret dot svg this should be of course the name of your file like here and then if you want to display it you use svg picture dot asset since we are loading an asset then the asset name then we are overriding the asset with a custom color in this case blue i'm going to remove this afterwards and you can also give it a semantics label so when somebody hovers over your svg with the mouse it will display a short text secret when we run this, it's going to show us this. So you can overlay any color you want. But if you just want to see the SVG, now the big revelation comes. If you've guessed this correctly, ta-da, it's a tiger. That's right. All right. Now that we've seen how to load an SVG from our assets, we also want to know how to then load an SVG from the network, from the internet. For this, I simply used an SVG from the library itself. So to do this, simply click on this, go to the repository. Then when you're in the repository, click on the example folder, assets, w3 samples, and then I'm going to be using alpha channel.svg. This is what we are going to display. We're going to click here on the raw so that we only see the raw SVG so that we can just copy this URL here because this directly points to this SVG. I'm going to comment this and say body svg picture dot network and then the url paste in here and let's load this and as you can see here this has loaded our svg of course we can center this like that by wrapping our svg picture widget with a center widget and then it's going to be displayed in the center if this is too small we can just use the size of our screen with media query of context dot size dot width and just run this again and now, as you can see, it takes up the full width and it shows us our Flutter SVG. You could also use the SVG picture library to load a file or from memory. In this case, it will be a uint8 list or from a string. So if you know that an SVG file is simply a string, basically. So you could also use this whole code and then use it with SVG picture dot string and then your custom string in there. I hope you liked this video. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. And also, if you have any questions or any remarks or future video desires, just let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching.